What's going on, people? Welcome to the LV Live show. I am LV Live. Please hit that like, share, subscribe button. Once again, I want to thank all the new subscribers who have come by to my channel. It is truly, truly appreciated, right? But listen, let's get right into it. Per the source, Brian Windhorst from ESPN, the Knicks have shown interest with the Sacramento Kings in trading De'Aaron Fox for Julius Randle. Um, that's pretty much, you know, will be a, a quick swap. Um, I think the Knicks would have to add in some money considering, like I said, Randle just um, signed a four-year $117 million deal last year. And Fox, uh, 2020, I believe, signed a five-year $163 million deal with the Sacramento Kings. Um I spoke to you guys about this about a week ago. There's been uh, speculations. I don't know how far it's going to go. I know the Knicks do have interest. Um, it's been a tough year, man. It's been a tough year for the Knicks, and it's been a tough year for Randall. Um, I think that, you know, us as Knicks fans, we've been kind of, um, like I said to you before in an er earlier video at the beginning of the season, we gave him the crown too soon. Um, if you think of Randall's career, right, guys, uh, he's been an average at best ball player. Solid at times, but average at best. He's 27 years old, and his, this is his third team that he's been on, right? Went from the Lakers to the Pelicans, now to us. For us to give him that deal last year, I think we were kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place because he played at his apex, right, at the top of the top of his Career, as far as skills go, he was at his best last year. Um, so with any player that does that in the NBA, most of, most of the time, you know, you you get a contract, you know, because you 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 know you pretty much superseded and you know did a whole lot better than what your other contract said you would you would do. So I think the Knicks were kind of stuck, right? Because I don't think they really wanted to give him a deal because if not, then he would have got the full max. But they weren't sure. But they had to do something. So I think that that's why they decided to give him the money. And as you guys know, you guys have watched the season like me. Um, he's pretty much come back down to earth from what happened last year. A lot of different uh, circumstances to me as to why. Um, I don't think it's any other circumstances than this is just who he is. This is the player that he is. Uh, and then what makes it magnified is that he's in New York, right? So... Um, this is media one, capital one, as far as the media goes, um, and all eyes are on him, right? So you can't avoid that, right? You can't, um, try to run from that. That's just what it is when you come to the city. Uh, and then of course, you know, with his play this year, that started whispers, right? It started whispers about possibility, um, you know, his play in the playoffs last year carrying over to this season. Those are the whispers, right? Or I'll call it the smoke. And then when he did the thumbs down, that pretty much put the, lit the match, man. And now it's hard to put out the fire, right? And um, that's what's going on right now with his time in New York. Um, just of recently, I believe it was last night, he unfollowed the Knicks on Instagram. Um, you know, I don't really think of it as a big deal, but in today in social media's time, you know, this is social media era, excuse me, the social media era, this is how it goes. That's a big deal, right? So, um, especially for your employer or someone you work for who's paying you many, millions of dollars, you have that, right? Then you have also, too, the incidents of um, him not coming to talk to the media for eight straight games, and after losses, he's just not available. Um, you know, the Knicks paid that fine, which was 25 k for him. So um, they've looked out for him in a sense, right? <clears throat> and then there's been instances of him um, not helping players up. You know, he looked at Obi at one time. They showed it when Obi fell to the ground. He didn't know he didn't go over and help Obi up. And there was another time, I believe. And then, of course, the, the images of him sitting at the end of the bench. I mean, a lot of players sit at the end of the bench, right? But because, once again... Because of what's been going on with him and his behavior, uh, as far as not meeting with the media and everything like that, and his play, and it's kind of gotten, it's just gotten blown up, right? Things are going to be bigger than what it is once again because this is market one, um, and it's just been one thing after another for the last two months, three months with him. 
Um, I you know I, I said it before. I'm gonna say it again. I think it's time. Um, do I think it'll happen? I'm not sure. You know, I, I think it's gonna be tough for the Knicks to move him, and the reason why is because his stock is down because he hasn't played well this year. The numbers say that he's played well, but if you watch the games, he hasn't played well, right? Um, and so it'll be tough for the Knicks to move him. Um, the only way this happens if Sacramento just wants to get rid of De'Aaron Fox. You know, they don't, they don't like the contract, and they just, uh, excuse me, De'Aaron Fox, and they just want to move him because, you know, they don't want to pay that money. And, you know, he struggled also, too, this season. You know, he struggles with his shot. Um Struggles with his defense a bit, but he's a downhill point guard. He's 24 years old. He's a young kid, um, super athletic, super quick. Um, he's actually a point guard that the Knicks need. Um, it's just that he can't. He struggles with his shot, and like I said, struggles defensively. But as far as picking up the pace and having like you know a fast paced game with him at the point, he's that guy, right? So. Um, I just think it's time. I mean, just my opinion. I, you know, I also, too, believe that um, a small market will probably do Randall Wonders. I think that would be better for him as opposed to a place like New York or Chicago or L.A. Hence, he got traded from L.A. Um, where all eyes are on you and it's tough. Those markets are tough because, you know, they are, you know, I call it the Blue Bloods. They are the Blue Blood program organizations of the NBA. You know, they've been here since those you know organizations have been here since the beginning of time. Right. So um, as far as the NBA goes, so, you know, a, a lot is expected. And it just so happens that Randall has struggled in both places. Um, and so I just think it's time, you know, and I, and I don't think it's, you know, once again, the, the, you know, the old saying goes when, when there's smoke, there's fire. Right. There's a whole bunch of reports going on about it. I don't I don't think this is all a fluke. I don't think this is all made up. Um, it's a lot of things swirling around there um, when you get. You know, big time reporters like Brian Winhorst and other sites stating it. That means, you know, talks are happening. People are conversing about it. And there's a possibility that it could happen. Um, I don't know if Randall's traded by the 10th. Um, if if this if it happens, that means it's just things have gotten so bad um, with, you know, behind the scenes with um, the Knicks and Randall. And, you know, Randall might be demanding a trade. He might say, listen, man, get me out of here. I'm tired of this place, right? So I could see that happening, or I could see this summer um, them moving them, right? Um, so this is this is this is this is a big deal, man, because a guy uh, who had such a great year last year uh, has pretty much been brought back back down to earth, right? Um, and you're kind of seeing exactly the player that he is, in my opinion. Like I've always said, I don't think Randall's a bad player. I think he's a solid pro. But to think that he's going to be the leader of a team in regards to um, the superstar player, I don't see that. You know, everybody can have a good year in this league um, because, you know, these are the best of the best players in the world. So you're going to you can have a breakout year. That, that, that happens. But the real good ones are the ones, or the real great ones, shall I say, are the ones that do it year in, year out. Steph Curry's of the world, LeBron James of the world, Kevin Durant's of the world. You know, those guys do it every year, right? It doesn't matter. Um so we got to see what happens. You know, a lot of people also, too, have been talking about uh, possibly also, also Dame Lillard. I don't see that happening. Number one, Dame Lillard's injury prone, as you guys have seen. Um, he's had some injuries in the past, and he's 31 years old, man. We don't want another Kemba Walker here. And I love Kemba. New York City all day, man. Big, big Kemba fan. But, you know, these guys are at the end of their career, man. You don't want to bring them to New York and, you know, ask for a big deal. And, of course, a lot of people are talking about Donovan Mitchell. I don't see that happening either. He's not. He just signed his big deal, so I don't see he's not going to be available to I believe uh, 2025. So that's yeah, going to get tough, and Utah is going to get every every pick, every type of money back, or whatever they can get for him because he's just that good, right? Um, he's one of, of course, another one of the young stars in this league. You know, similar to John Morant, Donovan Mitchell. He's that guy, right? So uh, he's also a New York City kid. Um, so it's going to be tough for the Knicks to get him. Um, could it happen? Yeah, but I, it, it, I give it some time. Um, so it's a lot of things rolling, man, around trade time. So we got to see what happens. Uh, but this is a big deal. This is a big deal with Randall um, and the Knicks. And uh, there's a possibility, man, this could happen. But I think that I don't think it will. I think probably, if anything, 
um, you know, it'll happen in the summertime. And um, that's what, you know, probably possibly Randall uh, pushing, um, saying that he wants to go. So we'll see what happens. All right. So listen, that's my show. All right. I'm LV Live. Please hit that like, share, subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hit that like button, people. All right. Also, too, please hit that bell icon to get notifications on all my new shows. All right. I'm LV Live, and I'm out. Peace.